Um, you have teaching that comes into two ways. These two words always go together, teaching and learning. Mm -hmm. Teaching and learning. As a classroom teacher, mm -hmm. in a public school setting, as a university professor, I can teach and teach and teach and teach. But what matters the most is whether or not my students are learning. And we've seen, you've seen, I've seen to some extent, kind of dating myself a little bit. I've been around a while. <laughs> I was here before uh, schools got letter grades. When I was a principal, yeah. there were critically low schools. Mm. Uh, so we've seen the advent of, of different accountability mechanisms to measure and determine whether or not students have learned. Correct. Correct. Uh, Talk to me about that evolution that you've seen. Mm -hmm. You've gone from a period of time where what the teacher says, does, and assesses in the classroom uh, makes the determination whether or not a student is proficient. Uh, obviously, we had some assessments uh, in the past, but obviously the level of accountability that we've seen over the past, I would say now 25 plus years, has been dramatic, and in some cases, some people call it draconian. Hmm. Dramatic and draconian. Hmm. Uh, what are your thoughts about the evolution of accountability to measure student learning that you've seen over the past uh, four decades? When you look at the teaching, you know, in itself, going back to your days at Northwestern, um, when FCAT first came out, you, if you remember, and I'm sure you do, um, that FCAT was towards the end of the year and we got the the letter grade if you will um right before school got out now it seems like we are testing earlier and still requiring these students to learn that full grade level of that whatever particular grade they're on you know to learn um the whole year in maybe six months and I think that puts a tremendous disadvantage for both the student and the teacher of being able to teach that curriculum in a short amount of time versus the end of the year. I've been on a vibe kind of hard to describe. I'm in between I'm good and it's fine, but I'm tired of the grind. Then I come alive in the night to realize I'm in the middle.